Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so we're going to be covering phases in this section and it kind of bears worth mentioning what phases are. Um, so any, for, let me take a large hospital project as an example. So let's imagine that my building right here is part of a, a, a an existing functioning hospital building, right? Um, and so what needs to happen is first uh, say a secondary lot needs to get completed off on the side um, and then maybe a secondary lot there for parking to extend that so then that would be built and then the, so that would be a construction phase one of building a new lot then maybe a temporary structure gets built and other ser services have to get installed that's a mess um, I'm just gonna stop drawing that so um, so then that would happen, and then whatever work needs to be demolished in the exist or in the existing structure, possibly even the entire structure, um, this would then get demolished, and then the new structure could be built over here, and then finally the temporary structure would be demolished, um, or it could be repurposed for something else. Um, kind of anything goes in a lot of projects are kind of dependent on what available resources are and what have you. So um, with that in mind, uh, let's talk about kind of like what's fairly popular and what we experience, right? And that's going to be kind of kitchen and bathroom models. So let me move this over here so we can keep an eye on what we're doing. And uh, something I haven't shown all of you guys yet, but is super handy to have. Um, is the ability to hide things. So if I have this right here, I can right click on it, I can choose hide in view elements, and that will hide that um, wall right there so that I can more easily access what I'm working on, which is going to be this kitchen area. Um, if I want to bring it back, there's this little tiny um, light bulb thing right here. It says reveal hidden elements. If I click on that, it shows this here in pink. You can see anything that's here in pink, um, which in this case has just those outlines right there that's going to indicate something that's hidden. So I can click on that, right click, unhide in view elements, and it's back. And then I can exit out of this mode or I can click the eye or the uh, light bulb right there. Um, so you can jump back and forth if you want to see things. So um, again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide this section in view right here. And we're going to talk about how this kitchen and or this kitchen remodel is going to look, right? So what would we think we're going to do in this case? Well, we'd probably come through here and we would demolish this wall along here and um, just open up that space, right? That's kind of the standard, make it more open, you know? So uh, what we would do is we would have to come in and actually mark things that are demolished, and which actually means first we need to set up phases. So um, let's see if I remembered it right. Analyze, nope. uh manage there it is okay um so under manage phases i didn't never use them except for this class so um so we'll go in here to phases and we'll open this up so right now we only have existing and new construction and if you want to check something in revit what you can do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the properties here and it'll actually show you the phase filter so right now we're on default show all and new construction so Revit's working under the assumption that anything you're designing in here is going to be new construction. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a little change to this phases menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit, uh, where is it, combine with next. So we're just going to end up with one layer here. What I'm going to do is then insert after, after, after. So we'll call this um, existing construction. We'll call this demo, I guess we only need um, new construction, and then I guess we don't really need this, so we'll just um, come in with previous, okay. So we have existing construction, demo, and new construction, so I'm going to hit apply to that, okay. And then real quick, we'll just do a double check to see where everything is here. So um, because we merged all those together, everything should have reverted to existing construction and then um, is staying there, right? So um, now we're going to come in and we're going to demolish this wall. And so what we're going to have to do, Revit gets a little bit weird about this. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to 
separate this section of the wall out. So I'm going to go inside here. I'm going to go right to that edge. And I'm just getting very close snaps of this. Um, and that's because Revit kind of freaks out when you do some of these actions. So what I've done is I've just separated this whole wall into kind of its own little tiny chunk system right here. So then right now you see uh, with those items selected, we have phase created, existing construction, phase demolished. We're going to change this to demo phase. So think of this as a timeline, right? Um, it starts at uh, it starts as existing, it gets demolished in demo, and then new construction will be added in the new construction phase. So think of it kind of a, like a timeline. If we were to say years, like existing construction was uh, 1970, I don't know, um, demolished in 2022, and then built in 2023. That's kind of how these um, three phases will work. It's just that no one needs to know what the new construction is. Uh, or the year or whatever it is. Um, and then if anything is left over at the end, it should all have none as the phase demolished because it was never demolished. So if we do that, um, now you can see nothing has changed here in my level one, right? So in the previous thing, we went over the plan views and I showed you guys how to duplicate plan views. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my level one, duplicate view, or duplicate the view as a, with the existing detailing, right click on it, rename it. And so this is going to be my, excuse me, water bottle. Um, this is going to be my demo phase. Nope, not phone phase. Uh, we'll also actually duplicate this two more times. So we'll have, uh, we'll call this existing phase um, and uh, new construction phase. Okay. Um, something that also helps me um, a little bit is I can do one dash right there um, in order to sort of phase or order the phases correctly. Did I get an extra space in there? Here's my OCD to help me out. Okay. Um, Okay, so I've just gone through and I've named these so that now they're kind of in the correct order that I want to go. So in the existing phase, we'll scroll down here, make sure that the phase is showing existing construction, go to the demo phase, and we're going to change this to demo. So, oops, missed it completely. Demo phase. So if we go in here now, you can see that there's dashes on these areas of the walls indicating that this is getting demolished. Oh, this actually needs to, yeah. I picked that up. I don't think I even grabbed that. Okay. And then if we go to the new construction phase and we change this to show the all on the new construction, you can see that those sections are now missing, right? So what we need to do is we actually need to rebuild what we're working on here with this area. So I'm going to go to wall and this is kind of the way that I've found out how to deal with how Revit handles this um, is to just, you over clip what you're working on just slightly. Um, so again, I showed you guys, let's go to our actual demo phase and we can show you. Actually, no, you can't see because it's showing it there. So you can see I just clipped a little tiny bit. Hold on. Okay, sorry if my dog has a uh, skin rash right now that she's constantly itching. Okay, so um, in this case, we were just demolishing this wall so we don't need to redraw the section of wall that goes back across here, but we do need to redraw the interior wall section that's right here. Um, and so again, this is where being really tricky with how you're using your location line can come into great effect. So um, I can just draw this across here. I think that's where it went. Oh, no, it still got mad at me. Um, and so sometimes, oh, this is probably the one. So this is where Revit gets weird is when you have walls that are demolished and things are kind of doing their own thing. Um, so let's pull this tiny bit down. Um, and I guarantee, and I'll call it out when I see it in class, but uh, Revit, when I say Revit gets weird, um, I guarantee what some of you guys are going to end up with is like weird gaps in your wall that you can't fill in no matter what you do. 
And so that's why you want to overdraw these just a little tiny bit. Um, let's see. And it was probably my bad for choosing one where this was so close to the edge, but hey, that's the life. Okay. Let me see. Why is this one not? And sometimes they just you just need to mess around with them a little bit, and they'll start playing nice. Um, where is this one? What is? Oh, that's a door opening. Okay. That's why I'm not understood. Okay. So let's move this. Oops. Nope. Don't do that. So again, this is just tricky. Um, let me go in here and we'll see what's going on. And then just like the other things, uh, the 3D view itself can also have its display changed. Um, so if I wanted this 3D view, where is it? Two, show my demo. Actually, let's go to new construction and we can see the gaps that are going on and the overlaps that are going on, which is what's really important to, uh, ooh, that's why it's getting weird. Okay, um, which helps finding out why things are going weird. Um, so make sure you set those to the correct level. There we go, those all snapped into place now. Okay, wasn't thinking about that being the issue. All right, so just double check. If I click on this section of wall, you've got the dot right here. If I click on this one, the dot's right there. Um, if I click on this one, I'm actually going to move that back, and then we'll move that there. And I'm just trying to get that as close as possible without kind of messing too much stuff up. So there you can see, and it's highlighted because of the way Revit draws things. It's actually going to um, highlight kind of what's going on with different things here. Um, in this case. Um, we'd probably also have to draw something else to fill in that little section. So if I go to my level two ceiling plan, um, again, it's going to show, oop, not level two, level one ceiling plan. And it's going to show me the actual gap in, nope, wrong side of the house, right? Oh, because we need to change our phase because that's what we're showing here. So we now have a gap in the ceiling here. Um, and in that case, I could just come back through and draw a new ceiling into this gap. Um, and then we'll double check in the 3D view and make sure that came in anywhere where it should be. Hi, what are you doing up here? Um, oh, that's weird. Okay. Nope. That was completely backwards. Okay. Uh, I guess it's at nine foot. So, um, we'd indicate there that I have no idea what height I set this to, apparently. Okay. All right, there, it's in the correct position. So um, visually, Revit's going to show, at least in the 3D view, things that are in the new construction as um, colored, while everything else is going to be in that sort of darker shaded out thing. Um, if we go to the demo phase, you can see that it's going to kind of put the dashed lines around certain things, um, but that's just Revit kind of doing Rev what Revit's going to do. And then if we change this over to the existing construction, you can see that there it's still kind of colored. So it's showing what's kind of there at the end of the completion of the filter's time range. That's typically how I like to view it. So the only thing that seems weird is if you're in demo, um, you might just show like show complete and it would show that as missing. So you can't show it as missing though because otherwise you'd actually miss what you're trying to show needs to be demolished. So that's why you can't do that with the demo phase here. Um, so some other things to watch out for just to double check your work. Um, so here I am in my level one and you can see that the lines are strong and fairly visible. If I go to level two, um, 
these other lines. I don't know if you guys can see it. I can see it on my screen. Let's actually turn thin lines off. Um, you can see that there's a light gray that's going on with these other ones, and then this is a slightly darker gray. So again, that's in a mark in drafting where you would learn that, you know, if there's something in the background that you're not trying to illustrate in that drawing, you would draw it in a slightly lower, lighter um, shade of gray. And then if it's something that's highlighted in that particular drawing, you would draw it in a darker or even, well, your ideal black shade of, well, black. Um, so then this lets me check and go, oh, this needs to actually come through because I can see that that was missing that spot right there. So just go back through, error check, make sure you're not missing anything. And then let's make sure these all line up. So I've got, as you, this is actually illustrating it really well. You can see the dark lines and then the light lines indicating which ones are relevant to this drawing. Okay. In this, it's fairly small. And because the thin lines are what they are, they're kind of a mess. Um, but you can see that it kind of highlights those a little bit better, makes them stand out. So um, that's what phases are. Hopefully that was kind of a primer for you guys. If you don't, um, I would highly encourage you guys to follow along, like I said, with this demo. Um, and then your milestone, your milestone two um, that you'll be doing Friday is you will be responsible for following along with me on this house as I demolish a... Let me actually turn this back on um, so you can see what I'm rambling about. So, on high, elements, okay. Um, so what we're going to be doing this week for the demo is we're going to be building uh, or demolishing a hole in this wall to put a door and then demolishing this window and we'll be building a small garage that sticks off from the side of this house. So uh, that's what we'll be doing for our demo this or for our milestone this week. And then as soon as you're done with that, feel free to start on project two. Um, I might bump the due date for project two back because it's going to be slightly larger than it was for last semester. Um, but you'll be using that same model through for project three as well, kind of like how we did with last class. So um, good luck and I will see you guys in class with this. Cheers.